everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV where today is a Sunday episode and today we have a seasonal event. The Make It Rain campaign runs every summer for about a month and it features 50% higher MGP rewards at the Gold Saucer as well as a quest line associated with it. It is basically the yearly Gold Saucer event. Hello there Kippy uh, Jakia. what do you got for me? Kippy Jakia needs help penning her next hit article. You there, you have the look of the adventuring sort. I've been looking for someone like you to help me with my new piece. This is your golden opportunity to be immortalized within the pages of the Raven, Eorzea's preeminent tabloid. Rest assured that unlike the reporters for more unsavory rags, I, Kippy Jakia, credit all who contribute to my articles. What do you say? I promise that at the very least, you'll leave this experience more enriched and with an appreciation for the finer aspects of journalism. Kippit Jakia is frequently used in uh, various seasonal events, so we may be seeing more of her in the future. Your contribution shall be much appreciated, I'm sure. Now then, the matter at hand is this invitation, which was sent to the Raven offices from the Gold Saucer. We have been asked to write a piece on the festivities currently underway at the establishment. Naturally, as the Raven's most senior reporter, I was chosen for this privileged task. I carry the reputation of my pub uh, publication on my shoulders, and there's no shame in recruiting an assistant or two with whom to share the weight. I need someone with keen skills of observation and a dazzling insight. And judging by my previous experiences with adventures, you should be well equipped for this task. So how about it? Can I count on you? You can count on me indeed. Very good. Well then, let's depart to the Gold Saucer at once. The invitation states that a member of the staff awaits our arrival at the entrance square. Alright, off we go to the Gold Saucer for this seasonal event. Alright then, arriving at the Gold Saucer, what do we have? Kipijakia, there you are, and looks like we've got a bunch of other people here as well. Yes, it seems all the invited reporters have arrived. Understood, I shall proceed as planned. Alright then, you must be the employee. If only we at the Mithril Eye could ex deliver an exclusive interview to our readers. Here we are in Uldah's premier center of leisure and entertainment. The readers of the Harbor Herald will be eager for an inside look at the revels which take place in these gleaming halls. So you invited multiple newspapers. Got it. Hello, Kippy Jakia. There you are, Adventure. Let's not keep our host waiting. Ah, you must be for the Raven. Allow me to welcome you personally to the Gold Saucer. With your arrival, all of our guests are present. Now, if I could have but a moment of your time. I need to change clothes. I need to get out of my winter gear. Oh, goodness. Illustrious reporters of Eorzea, I welcome you one and all to the Gold Saucer. My name is Olier, and I have the distinct pleasure of serving as an attendant here. As you are well aware, we are currently holding our most fabulous event of the year, the Make It Rain campaign. During its duration, guests may receive up to 50% more MGP, a currency which can be exchanged within these gilded walls for a bevy of fantastic goods. People of all stripes pour into the Gold Saucer during this event, eager to take their place, take their piece of the generous bounty we offer. However, some in Eorzea have yet to grass, uh, grace us with their patronage, which is why we have invited the most esteemed reporters in the realm to partake in our festivities, and prepared sizable compensation for your resulting articles. Of course, a simple tour would hardly suffice to satisfy such curious minds as yours so I have taken the liberty of preparing a little diversion for the occasion. Behold this masterful mammoth made in the precise likeness of Godbert Manderville. We have hidden four throughout the Gold Saucer, one in each section, excluding Chocobo Square. Use your keen reporter sense to seek them out, and to the one who finds the most mammoths, We shall reward an exclusive interview with a man himself, President Godbert Manderville of Manderville and Manderville, famed goldsmith and proprietor of dreams.
No paper has ever succeeded in securing a personal interview with Godbert Manderville. Can you believe our luck? He's right, an interview with Godbert Manderville would draw more eyes to the Raven than news of another calamity. This isn't a competition to be taken lightly. Hmm, the reward is worthwhile to be sure, but most Matthew Therrell and I have come here alone, while the Raven seems to have sent two reporters. I propose that the Harbor Herald and the Mithril Eye join forces. That would even the odds, methinks. I have no objection to that. To the winners go Manderville secrets, to the losers, pitiful ignorance. Let's keep our eyes well peeled, adventure. Then let us make an addendum to the rules. In the case both teams find the same number of mammoths, the swiftest to return will be judged the victor. Now let the mammoth hunt begin. Search every corner of our establishment and may you find the bounties you seek. Alright, let's real quick, real quick fix our equipment, just so that we can, uh, not be in our winter clothes. Let's see. A lot of these are so- oh, oh, I don't have anything specific for basically any of them. Shoot. That's a problem. That's the best I can do. You know what? It looks fine. At least the hat's off. If there are four wind of godbirds hidden out there, we should we should each search for two. You take Wonder Square and Round Square, and I'll recover the remaining two sections. An equal division of labor. If anything happens, we can stay in touch via this link pearl. Now let's find those mammoths and win that interview. All right, let's do it. If we can win that interview, that would apparently be a huge deal. No one's ever won an interview with Godbert Manderville. That would indeed draw a lot of eyes. The first of the mammoths is going to be over here. Just sitting up on top of that light. Bad news, adventure. It seems I wasn't quick enough to find the mammoth in entrance square. Please tell me you're faring better than I. Don't worry, I got it. You found one? Thank goodness, we're still in the running. I'll make haste to the event square. Godspeed in finding your final mammoth. Alright. Let's keep it up. We're on good pace. Well, we've got a good start at least. We at least got one mammoth. If we can find one more and then race back to the start, we win. Alright. The second... The second mammoth. I saw our competition back there is going to be up this way, on the top floor of this room. And right... where are you? Somewhere on this floor, I know that. I just forget where. Let's keep moving and see if it pops up. Ah, there you are! Hiding behind the giant gold statue of Godbert Manderville, of course. There you are. Get in here. Alright, now if we get back, we win. Adventure, good news this time. I found the mammoth in Invent Square. Oh, we have a guaranteed victory then. Take that. We win. You found yours too? Then it's settled. The, that interview is mine. Oh, is ours, of course. We must report our victory to Allier at once. See you at Entrance Square. Alright, that went very well. Sorry to the competition, but you just were not fast enough. Alright, hello there, Allier! How's everyone doing? It seems there's no match for you, Adventure. You found both mammoths before I even had a chance to take the lay of the land. I know who to call upon next time I need to search for treasure. Just a moment after I spied the mammoth, I spied the reporter from the Raven picking it up. Oh, if only I didn't stop for refreshments. You fool! It was a race! There you are! Quite impressive work, I must say. To think we would trounce the opposition so convincingly. All thanks to your eagle eyes. Yeah, thanks! 
I did indeed get half of the mammoths. Welcome back, Mistress Jakia has informed me that you were able to find two mammoths. I was indeed. Indeed, exactly two likenesses. The final results are as follows. Three mammoths found by the reporters of the Raven, and one mammoth by the reporters of the Mithra Eye and the Harbor Herald. Which means that the Raven shall be rewarded with an exclusive interview with Lord Manderville. Congratulations to you both. Once you have sufficiently prepared yourself, simply, uh, simply speak to me and I shall summon him forthwith. Alright, that's the first half of the seasonal event done. Second half is the interview. All your stands are ready to call upon the Gold Saucer's proprietor. I trust you are ready for the interview. I shall call upon Lord Manderville, so please wait here until his arrival. As for the Harbor Herald and the Mithril, I, I ask that you follow me. While none are as knowledgeable as Lord Manderville, our staff shall do their utmost to guide you on an, upon an educational, and dare I say entertaining, journey of the Gold Saucer. Ho oh, ho ho! Apologies for the wait. I take it you're the eagle-eyed reporter from the Raven. Accompanied by none other than my old friend Satora, I see. You haven't decided to doff the mantle of adventure in favor of a reporter's quill and ink, have you? No, I have not. I'm just here to help out. Uh, please don't make me massage you again. Lord Manderville, it's a pleasure to make your personal acquaintance. My name is Kippy Jakia of the Raven, and I have the honor of penning this exclusive interview with your esteemed personage. This adventure was kind enough to assist me on this project, so please consider her a temporary member of our staff. Very good, very good. I am overjoyed to host you both in my darling gold saucer. Naturally, I expect some initial awkwardness as I become accustomed to the process, but I shall do my utmost to bear both body and soul to your inquiries. Ask away. Your candor is much appreciated, Lord Manderville. Now then, perhaps you might share with us some exclusive details regarding the Gold Saucer's creation. Oh ho ho, a simple question. I thought you might ask me to divulge the secret of my family's peerless beauty, which has been carefully guarded for generations. Yes, well, I intend to get there in time, of course. But the objective of my article is to convey the charm of your establishment to my readers, and where better to start than with the tale of its inception? Only a reporter most masterful looks past the beauty of the man to the beauty of what he has wrought. How delightful indeed. Come, allow me to give you the grand tour whilst answering your question and with pomp and circumstance. Let us head for the Aetherite Plaza, which rests in the heart of the Gold Saucer. From there, shall, uh, I shall guide and show you why House Manderville's ingen ingenuity knows no equal. Alright, it's time for the tour and interview. Godbert, what info do you have for us? Some of the following events cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty fighter registrations. Don't worry, not doing duties today. Allow me to welcome you to the anew to the Gold Saucer. I, Godbert Manderville, am at your complete disposal. Simply tell me where you wish to go and you shall have my personal escort. Alright, let's begin with the entrance square. Five years after the seventh Umbral Calamity ravaged Eorzea, the Gold Saucer rose from the sands of Ulta, serving as a beacon for all in the realm who sought leisure and diversion. For the Calamity had dealt the city-states a grievous blow, and each and every citizen had worked tirelessly to see their homes healed. I built the Gold Saucer to be a place where the beleaguered could forget their worries for a time and remember the feeling of a smile upon their faces. 
A noble purpose, to be sure, especially considering the amount of your own wealth you poured into reconstruction efforts. To build a legendary monument of recreation during such trying times must have been a challenge, considering the resources and manpower necessary for such an undertaking. But that is exactly why it had to be done. To give work to hands robbed of purpose by disaster and thereby construct the backbone of a thriving economy. I owe a great debt to each and every person under my employ. It was only by their hard work and diligence that the Gold Saucer was able to aid Eorzea in her time of, me of need. As the cactus weathers hot desert climbs, so too did my workers persevere with indefatigable spirit. For this reason, I chose the Sabotender as our mascot, with the appellation Senor as a sign of respect for their contributions. All of that being said, the Gold Saucer is no charity. Quite the opposite, in fact. An operation of this magnitude would soon shrivel in the sun without the steady flow of profit. I still wonder how you make a profit. Because there's not really any way to lose MGP. Except uh, unless you lose Triple Triad repeatedly. I guess the refreshments? But still, it must be a massive drain on Godbert's wealth. He may be wealthy indeed, but this is still ostentatious. There is much more I could say on the matter, but alas, we only have so much time. Let us return to the Etherite Plaza and perhaps consider a change of scenery. Alright, next up is to the Round Square. Oh ho ho, Round Square, yes, so famous for, um... Ah yes, of course, Mount Corel soars majestic over its domain. Have you ever seen its like before? I have learned recently that apparently Mount Corel is originally from Final Fantasy VII, which I still need to play. I've played Remake Part 1 and that's it. I wager you haven't, for this peak that countless visitors climb and descend daily is a construction of my imagination. Do you know what inspired me? Inspired? This was, fa this was fashioned based on a model? That it was, but I'm not surprised the name wouldn't ring familiar. Mount Corel appears in a classic tale I used to en enjoy immensely as a young lad. As a mountain that fed a booming mining industry, you can see how it would inspire the liberal use of explosives for this attraction. We procure our bombs from goblin artisans, thereby extending a unique commercial opportunity to merchants who might otherwise be shunned or feared by others. Alright, Godbird has attempted to use capitalism to solve racism. At least he's trying, unlike basically everyone else in Aorzea, except for the Scions. And even the Scions aren't doing that much work right now. <laughs> Especially where we are in the main story. Naturally, we needed to ensure the explosives would create a thrilling spectacle without risk of injury. I myself spent many a day testing the efficacy of ver a variety of blasting powders upon my person. Oh, to be so young again. You blew yourself up willingly for days? I respect the dedication, my goodness. Alas, although I could expound upon this topic for moons, I'm sure your readers wish for an article as varied as the saucer itself. Let us return to the Etherite Plaza and consider where we might go, ne go to next. Alright, next up is the Event Square. Oh, as the name implies, here is where we hold our grandest events. At present, Masters Typhon and Yojimbo perform their regularly scheduled show to the delight of all and sundry. Ah, yes, yeah, speaking of this Master Typhon, I've heard tell that he's a terrifying monster whose sneezes are powerful enough to send someone flying off their feet. Pardon my directness, but does this not pose a danger to your guests? 
Danger? Why, no, none at all. You can rest assured that behind Master Typhon's frightening countenance lies the kind heart of a model employee who cares deeply for the safety of our guests. Ah, I remember the day we met fondly. Master Typhon had been ushered into our realm due to an attempt by the Thaumaturgist Guild to summon Void Send. And after a journey full of twists and turns that yielded him no means to return from whence he came, he decided to seek gainful employment. Once I heard of his story, I knew he would be perfect as one of our attractions. After the requisite job interviews, I hired him on the spot. Albeit he did get off to a sticky start, unleashing sneeze upon mighty sneeze in alarming succession. However, once I realized he meant only to offer up a reprieve from that day's blistering heat, I thanked him for his kindness, and he has been amenable to constructive criticism ever since. If you have done certain quest lines, which are available after beating a Realm Reborn, uh, there is additional dialogue here. Now, as much as I would like to regale you further, I fear I'm on the edge of rambling. Let us conclude our tour of events where and return to the Etherite Plaza. Alright, last stop is Wonder Square. Wonder Square was envisioned as a place where our patrons can kick up their feet and take in the wondrous scenery we've arranged for them. The second floor is equipped with a cocktail lounge which offers the realm's finest elevations. From what I've heard, this area is among the most popular. Is it true that you even offer games hailing from the Far East? Ho oh, ho, just so. Our dome in Mahjong has received great acclaim since its introduction here. There's nothing quite like it in all the realm was brought to my attention by an employee who spent time in the Far East. There, it is played as a simple recreation, as a display of hospitality, or in fierce competition amongst common folk and nobili nobility alike. Truly, it brings me great joy that people can come here to enrich themselves with games from distant lands. I only hope that we can introduce even more games from places far and wide to the people of Eorzea. Ah, but there's still so much to see. Perhaps we should return to the Etherite Plaza and consider the next part of your hard-won interview? Okay, but Godbert, there's not so much more to see. We've seen all of it now. That was the last place. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, I think we're done with the tour. Thank you, though. Very good. I believe I have more than enough information to write several articles. It's been quite a while since I've spoken of my beloved Gold Saucer at such length. I do hope my ramblings did not bore you. Far from it, Lord Manderville, I quite enjoyed your anecdotes, as I'm sure will each and every one of the Raven's readers. Ho ho, I am delighted to hear it. We built the gold saucer to revitalize commerce and rekindle the spark of joy in people's lives. Laughter and smiles are as much a lifeblood as food and shelter. This place serves to fulfill that all too elusive need. Not only for our patrons, but for our workers who tirelessly keep the gold saucer operating smoothly. My greatest hope is for their, for their happiness. I see, a beacon of joy guiding people to the smiles they've forgotten. I believe I can use that. Thank you for everything, Lord Manderville. This interview gave me all I need for a phenomenal article. Oh, ho, ho, it was entirely my pleasure. May your pen burst forth with inspiration as do the clouds with rain, or as a gold saucer does with MGP. Do be sure to speak with Olier on your way out. 
He has something prepared that I believe will bring a smile to your face. Like gold itself, the ideals which guide this establishment are immutable. I invite the both of you to return when, whensoever you please. All right. That was a lovely interview. Good to hear from the man himself. I can feel the ideas bubbling to the surface already. I must start writing at once. I'm glad you got such a good interview out of that. Welcome back. Allow me to thank you once again for answering our invitation. The pleasure was all mine. It was an honor to hear from such, uh, hear such first-hand accounts from the Gold Saucer's founder. I see now that this amusement center was designed with much care for the people it serves. In fact, I'm thinking of entitling my article, The Gold Saucer, Where Hearts of Gold Reign. I hope it'll convince more people to come and visit for themselves, and perhaps take with them a heart full of, uh, full of mirth. Of course I haven't forgotten you, Adventure. I shall make sure to credit you in my article front and center. Before you depart, allow me to present you with a small token of our appreciation. Our event will be underway for some time yet, so we hope you continue to enjoy all the Gold Saucer has to offer. And for our reward, we get a wind-up Godbert Manderville. No less gentlemanly than for its compact size, this mammoth stands ever ready to do what only a Manderville can. <sighs> I can't wait till we get to the quest line involving this family. God, there's a delightful quest line eventually involving this family. All right, everything gold can stay, and we get a new minion. Let's see, I'm curious, what does it say in the minion guide for you? Godbert Banderville, the Reign's greatest goldsmith and distinguished proprietor of the Gold Saucer, created this automaton in his own likeness to serve as a prize for the Make It Rain event. It is guaranteed to enhance the gentlemanliness of anyone it accompanies. And I'm so sorry to our Shigoi larva, but it is the end of the Sunday episode, so we can just skip Mount Roulette next time, and... We're gonna have Godbert Manderville by our side. And if we wait long enough, watching our little friend, eventually, he's gonna pose and, oh dear. Strip down to his small clothes. That will make sense in due time, I swear. I promise. I promise him becoming naked will make perfect sense in due time. All right. Let's get our winter clothes back on. And next time on Final Fantasy XIV, we return to Kurthus to continue attempting to get information out of the Ishgardians on the final flight of the Enterprise as we perform a third task in order to be introduced in exchange to the three remaining High Houses of Ishgard. I'll see everyone next time for that. <laughs>